Hey guys, hope you like Zach here from Crash V, and welcome back to another car video. Uh, we've had a request from this user here to do a aesthetic mods. He wants me to like list them all. So instead of just typing in the comments, list them all for uh, a few selected people to see if they stumble upon the comment. I thought I'd just do a whole video on it. So let's get started. Okay, so here she is, my Ford Fiesta. Red Edition, one litre beast. Uh, even though this has just a one litre engine, this car produces 140 brake horse stock. Um, as you can probably tell, this car is not stock at all. So, but I'll get onto all my performance in another video. So, keep checking the description because I'll put it in there once I've done it. But for now, let's focus on the aesthetics of this car. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through in order of what I've done them. So the first thing I did to the car was I put these lovely Team Heco wind deflectors on. Uh, I think they look amazing. Uh, the red bit here is another aesthetic mod, which I'll get to. They don't come like that stock. It's just the black wind deflector. So I got one there. And I got another this side. Um, so my second aesthetic mod is these, the Triple R Composites, Com Composites, Compos Composites, I'm going to go with that, the eyebrows right here. As you can see it makes the car a lot more aggressive and goes, re focus, focus, thank you, it goes really well with the actual red of the car because it's a red car and then because it's the red edition it's got the black roof, black mirrors and of course those 17 inch black alloys. So adding stuff like the black eyebrows goes really well with it in my opinion. I absolutely love it. So moving on to my third aesthetic mod I did is this little thing here. This is the S little gel badge I got from Gel Badges. Um, all the links to all these products I'll put down in the description so you don't have to worry about finding them. Focus. God damn it. It doesn't want to focus. There you go. So I got one this side, so if I stand back you can see the hold of the car. There you go, it's just that little thing down there. And I've also done the same over this side. So as you can see, it just kind of breaks the car up a bit. Again, adding just that little black aesthetic kind of thing. Just fits down here with the arch of the car. So as you can see the car kind of curves like that. And then you can see the wheel arch there. So it just slots in right there, just underneath the... Uh, there you go. Come on. There you go. ST line badge right on the side. So then after I did that, uh, I took my car to a Ford Bible meet and I got this little lovely. It's the oil slick Ford Bible sticker. I had to be repping at the back, you know. Look at that. It's beautiful. It does a whole like rainbow kind of th thing depending on the light. So if I just stand back, you can see, yeah, it looks really good. I'll get to the other sticker in a minute, and I'll give you a little story behind that. But also with the Ford Bible sticker, I also got these. Now the Ford badge is has a gel badge over it, and it's black and red. So I got one for the back there. If I come around to the front, you can see I've done the same on the front here. Uh, another aesthetic mod I have done is the little S badge just down there. So, I don't know, I just thought I didn't want to stick a, like an ST badge on it, even though it's like the ST line, so I just stuck the little um, ZTEC S badge on it. So I just got that down there, just sitting nicely. Uh, I think it looks really good in my opinion. I've debated taking it off, but certain people have told me just to leave it on because it does look pretty nice. So, moving on, let's go with... I'll go to the back before showing you those. If I go around here, you'll see I have a little red edition gel badge. So, I, I don't know, I just thought it'd be kind of nice just to, you know, instead of the EcoBoost Fiesta, just add a little bit of, you know, this is a red edition to it, just because, you know, why not? Uh, so now I'm actually going to get to the pinstriping I've done, which is the red bit on the wind deflector I mentioned. It's just a little tape it is, if you can focus. You kind of see, it's just a little tape that goes across it. 
Uh, little bits coming off at the end there. That's all it is. Uh, I'll have to cut that little excess bit off. But for now, it's just gonna hover there. As you can see, it breaks the wind deflector up really nice. Goes really well with the uh, red. There you go, focus. So I did that there. And then, as you can see, my rear diffuser has pinstripe all across it. So, as you can see, I did the bottom bit first. There you go. That needs to stick back on. But, yeah, and then, just because I thought it would look nicer, I added the top bit a few months later. So as you can see, it breaks up really nicely. It goes really well with the um, rear spats here, because it kind of follows it like that. So that's pretty much all the pinstriping I've done. Done it on bores and the wind deflectors. Uh, I debated on doing it on the eyebrows, but I kind of wanted to leave them as like an aggressive black. So another place I debated on doing it was down here. So I might still do that on these little curbs here. Uh, see what that looks like, but for now, they're just kind of black. So before I move on to these, which you're probably really interested in, I'm gonna take you to the inside of the car just to show you what I've done there. Now, I got the red Ford badge if it wants to focus. No? There you go. I got the red and black Ford badge there, as well as a red edition to go nicely in the steering wheel slot there. Uh, that's all the interior aesthetic mods I've done, but yeah. Oh, cop car. Now I will show you the last aesthetic mod I've done, which is, of course, the fog lights. Uh, these are from CE UK. And yeah, I got the. I can't remember what this is called. The, it's an insert. Basically the red edition comes with like the hexagon kind of style. This though um, is from the just standard because the fog lights are 70 millimeters and the red edition is 60 millimeters. So I had to change these out, but as you can see, very nice. They're controlled through an app uh, by Bluetooth. Uh, I do have to say though, the Bluetooth receiver is garbage. Uh, hardly works sometimes. But once it does, as you can see, it makes the car so nice. So that was like the aesthetic mods video. I uh, hope you really enjoyed it. Hope you've got maybe inspiration for your uh, Fiesta or Focus or whatever. Uh, take from it what you will, but it was requested. I thought it'd be nice to do it. So anyway, thank you very much for watching.